the thing comes up over and over when people look at a rosette. They say, is that, is that a sticker? Which like totally irks guitar makers, right? Because you spend all this time trying to make it and then they say, is that a sticker? Well, it's not a sticker and it's not painted on, it's inlaid out of wood. So the, they're, it's made of little tiny colored pieces of wood. Some are natural color, like that piece is natural maple and that piece is natural walnut. And that's Pernambuco, that orange one. And this yellow is dyed yellow and the red is dyed red. So they're just strips. So basically what these are, tiles, they're little components that are stacked together and then cut uh, and then reassembled inside the rosette channel. So in order to make something like this, what, uh, what you do is you get a whole bunch of yellow lines, like the yellow lines in there, and you combine them with some other color line, like say these black lines, and you stack them in different patterns like this. Right? Can you see that? And so on. And you spread glue on them and you squish them together and clamp them and do all kinds of guitar maker things to them until finally they process out and they become these strips of wood, these sort of logs. So these logs, um, you take a saw and you saw one of the ends off of these logs. And you get that tile. So when you stack up tile after tile after tile, uh, you can combine the different tiles and make patterns. I have these patterns that I've come up with that I use over and over that I really like. This pattern, for example, is a pattern that I stole from the rosette ring around a 19th century oud. Uh, it had this white, black, white, um, this, this pattern, white, black, white, black, white, and then it had a smaller green and white or green and yellow pattern, um, and they were just backed up to each other. And I find it really simple and really effective. It reads well when it's in the rosette. It's, um, it's very traditional. It's from an old oud. There's older Spanish work that looks a lot like that. Um, so I've been really, um, frankly, I've been just kind of like using this one because every time I do it, people just really like this rosette. And I thought, well, that's kind of simple, but it's, people really respond to it because of the simplicity and the clarity. So uh, I've kept on doing it. And I'm going to keep that as one of my, um, sort of like one of my regular um, trademarks that I've kind of now, I guess. So this stuff is a variation on this. It's a, it's a brown, white, brown. And then this is yellow, red, yellow. And then this orange color. So there's like the colors of the Spanish flag. Plus the, um, this other one. It's just kind of a variation on this idea. It's a little more asymmetrical. So when Spain wins like the World Cup, then everybody will want the like yellow, red, yellow. <laughs> so, and it's the same with the black. Um, the white, black, white, black, blah, blah, you know, like over and over. So you can really just do anything with these um, tiles.